Hi, in this video we're going to be testing out this pan. This is granite stone diamond and this is a non-stick fry pan. It's dishwasher safe, metal utensil safe, and it says it's aluminum cookware. So I just got it, so we're going to wash it and use it to make some eggs. I noticed in the picture there's one egg. I'm going to attempt to make two, so I kind of want three, but I don't know if this pan can support three, and let's just stick to two because I feel like Two is a good number anyways, so pretty nice, feels pretty good. Um, doesn't feel like super heavy, but it doesn't feel like super lightweight either. Just gonna take some soap here and briefly rinse it off before we use it. Okay, should be good. All right, let's just rinse it off. Some soap in my hands. And I've got the stovetop heating up now and I'm heating up a bagel, so I'm gonna have two eggs uh, with a bagel So we're gonna see how this turns out and we're gonna make fried eggs with this So it's gonna be a challenge because I'm gonna try to make two eggs with this little pan I'm gonna get a little loud here. There we go and See if I can flip them over. All right, so that looks pretty good so Let's come over here to the stove top and this is a really uh, terrible to stove top. It's not very good um, It's either too hot or too uh, too cold it goes from warm to hot and from hot to warm. There's no like medium setting and ideally you want to cook this on low medium heat. So I've got it on four and a half out of 10. So it's slightly below five, which is the medium point. And I'm going to use uh, some olive oil spray. That's pretty good. And we're going to do two eggs this morning. So I've got some eggs here. And we're gonna see how these turn out. So we've got one. So you see it's really best suited for one egg, but I think we can fit two in there. So two. All right, so we've got two eggs in there. You can see they're starting to cook already. I'm just gonna rinse my hands, get the egg off. And you know, making eggs, the whole process takes less than 10 minutes. That's what I like about eggs. Um, so having a good egg pan or a pan you can use for other things is ideal. So um, yeah, the picture on the packaging has a picture of an egg. We'll take a look at that again in a minute. Let me put the eggs away and let's just take a look, see if we can find any other information about this while it cooks. So it says 10 times extra uh, long lasting, okay. And it's a five and a half inch pan. Oh yeah, look, I, I knew it. I was thinking about this. No oil or butter needed. So I was thinking it was one of those pans. Um, I recently uh, tested and reviewed and used uh, a Gotham steel pan that was very similar. And it emphasized that uh, you shouldn't use oil or butter. So uh, if I would have read that, I wouldn't have used oil or butter during this test, but uh, we used oil. So that's the test we have. <laughs> oh, it's got some information in here. Let's see what this is. Let's open this up. Register online. Welcome to the Granite Stone family. Okay, so it's got like some coupons and stuff and some other registration things if you register. Okay, so I'll toss that. So anything else here important? Yeah, nothing really, you know, nothing else here. It just basically says here, no oil or butter needed. So, oh, here we go. For best performance, uh, here it is. It's designed for cooking without oil or butter. If you choose to use it at the proper heat setting, for example, extra virgin olive oil. Okay, I'm gonna lower it. I lowered the heat. Never use nonstick sprays, it says. Okay, all right. For eggs, low to medium heat. All right, so I'm gonna lower it a little bit more. I'll raise it actually. 2.6 now it's at. So good to know, so next time I won't use uh, any um, olive oil spray. It actually is olive oil. It's not a nonstick spray. It's actual olive oil that comes out of a spray. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll check. Pretty sure I didn't use a nonstick spray. Yeah, it's just, I used organic extra virgin olive oil nonstick cooking spray. Okay, so I guess, I guess it is a, a nonstick cooking spray, which you're not supposed to use, but let's see how it turns out. So, you see they're starting to cook, so at some point I'm gonna to wanna to flip these eggs. That's turning out okay, even with the olive oil. 
yeah, it's turning out okay. Smells really good. It's pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's working really well. I'm going to turn it over fairly soon. Just going to wait a little bit more, and then we're going to flip these. Okay, I'm going to try to flip them now. So one, there we go. Perfect. And then see if we can get this one. Two. There we go. And just get it over there and spread it out so we cook everything. There we go. That's pretty good. Let's wait a little bit more now while it cooks that part of the egg. Very nice. And I think that should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my plate. I'm going to back the camera up. So I'm going to set my plate here, which is ready. It's got uh, an everything bagel, which has quite a bit of calories. That's why I'm only having two eggs with one bagel. Don't want to overdo it. I want to have room for plenty of other meals throughout the day. So I'm going to have a somewhat lighter breakfast than usual, but this is still quite a few calories, probably about 500 calories here or less. Uh, the eggs are 70 each plus the spray. So maybe 160 plus, um, maybe it's called 180 if you want to splurge plus the, um, bagel, which is 230. So that's 210, 410 calorie breakfast here. So yeah, pretty happy with uh, the quality of the eggs and the quality of the pan. So let me just show you the pan one more time. The brand is granite stone and it works pretty good for two eggs. Good luck.